Hi Manu. I almost forgot I was supposed to be streaming. Having too much fun watching Strua. Strua. Right, let's make a start then. So, some of you might notice a few things different because I have updated my base a fair bit. So I will do a little tour of it for you. I went after we or after I trashed the submarine last time I went and retrieved the bits for it and I've got myself a new submarine and everything so I can show you around it all now Try not to. I'm going to take a different route this time. I did a bit of scouting and the the route that I went down last time is like the most dangerous one. Has the most monsters down there so I'm going to go down a different way. But I can show you the fancy new base now. have actually made the base a bit pretty as well, or at least tried to. New base, new submarine and stuff. I've reorganised my supplies and stuff a bit. So, here is my bedroom. I've made it in one of these glass pods again. And if you can see there, I've put spotlights on the outside of my base to light it up when it's dark. So you can see stuff around there. And there's a bunch of spotlights all over. So, actually in my base to get to the main bit, I've got a ladder going down. But there are no ladder infamy, ladder animations which just teleport you. So this is the the entrance we had before, with a little planting bit outside. So you go in this entrance now, aboard, and it takes you to like a, a crafting and storage area with the reactor, and the reactor can run off fish. So I have fish breeding now, which is up here. 
So I built one of these aquariums and we could be breed these fish in it and use these fish for the reactor. And they actually work quite well. And I've put glass windows all around just so you can see all around in this bit. So you can see out to the starting area and over there where the life pod and everything is. And then Whoosh. So this is my storage area where I've got some backup poo for the reactor because the reactor works on poo as well just in case we need any. I've got all my crafting stuff, all my supplies. I've put some of the posters down as well. So we've got like the coal posters we got off the ship here. Poo underscore? Poo so, underscore? Poo underscore? Oh yeah, I've put the glass tunnels in everywhere as well. So like when you're moving between the rooms you can have a lot round. So we've got the scanner room over here. Which I still don't use very much. But I can use to scan for supplies and stuff if I need to. With the little scanning map of the area. And then on the other side. We have. The food room. So look. Here we have. Our bin. And our vending machine that actually gives us food. So I can get food from it. We've got our actual food trees. We've got my toy car that I found. Some more food trees. A little seating area. We've got some baseball caps and a toy. We've got the uh, one of the microscopes that I found. We've got some more lab equipment and we've got a coffee machine as well which also works so it takes a little bit we've got more food growing here and here we have Brino fish and Kelly fish they've been moved into this room so just gonna... unfortunately it doesn't actually show the cup but it does give you one so we've got a coffee americano from that And then over this way, so this is the ladder that leads back up to my bedroom. Over this way we've got the moon pool where we keep our little submarine docked. So this is still here. But outside we have the big submarine. Which I have named Disaster after what happened to the last one. So this is the submarine disaster, and inside we have Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. a new mech suit as well. Ay, 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 ay. Whoa, that was a bit loud. Hi Trua, hi everybody. <gasps> <laughs> Four months, Alex. And yeah, that was super loud. I did not, I didn't expect it to be that loud. So, I was just doing a tour of the base, Alex. I'll go right around it to show you. But here's the new mech that I made. So I'm inside the second submarine now. And if I head outside the submarine, you can, I'll show you what it's called. <laughs> so yeah, Submarine 2 is called Disaster, after what happened to the first one. And then this is the new and improved base. <laughs> so yeah, I, I've expanded the base a bit and put a lot of windows and stuff in. So, this is the little submarine dock the moon pool. This leads to the middle and in the middle is a ladder that leads up to my bedroom. 
So I'm just showing everybody around my new base because I rearranged it all. Yeah. Over here we have the kitchen with food production. And there's our little aquarium with Brina fish and Kelly fish. We've got an actual working coffee machine and vending machine in here. We've still got the scanner room even though I don't really use it. And we've got our like crafting and storage area. And on top of here we have an aquarium with fish that we can use to generate power. So I'll grab some of these guys. And this is a bioreactor. So in the bioreactor we can put the fish and they will generate power. So now that the base is sorted we need to get the big submarine down to the base at the bottom. So I'll grab a few supplies. Uh, I'm not going to need any salt. I'm going to take some of these samples though because I might need those down there. I uh, got plenty of diamonds. We'll grab that ruby in case we need it. Um, grab a couple of batteries as well. So I'll grab some food and we shall try and take the big submarine down to the base at the bottom. So this is going to be the bit where I try not to get it destroyed again. Although I do have an extra add-on for this submarine now. Because I did not realise it was something I can make. But we have a shield. So if something does attack us... I've got a shield I can put up while we leg it. So. I'm also going to take a different route down this time as well. Just because. It's going to be safer. Engine power up the engine. We've got 98% power so we've got plenty. And we also have over here. A silent running mode. So there's the shield. There's the silent running mode. Wait. So we need to look for the trench. That's the way we're going down. So I've just got to manoeuvre this thing now. But we're going to use the trench route down because it's going to be a bit safer. Because I am a better scammer than Sherry is Kelly, that's why. Go up a bit so we don't scrape along the bottom. Oh yeah, I should have my new emotes for the 24 hour stream as well. So they should all be ready by then. <laughs> That's just small stuff hitting me. Um, you'll have to wait and see, won't you? So I should have them by tomorrow, which means if I upload them straight away, they should be approved definitely by Friday. So, trench is over this way, we need to head to the far side of it. And then that 
will take us down the safest route. It's not completely safe, there is still monsters down there, but it is safer. So. Oh yeah, I've got a horn as well. Forgot about that. So we are heading down. The annoying bit because I can't actually look down. So I've just sort of hope the sensors help enough to find it. Hi, Brina. Oh, hi. Four months today for you as well. <laughs> can't believe it's actually been four months since I started streaming as well. It feels a lot longer. It feels like I've been doing it for like a year already. Brina underscore who underscore. Eh. Oh, it's only a little one. Still heading down, we're heading in the right direction. I've just got to look for the. That looks like Brian over there. Yeah, we're in the right area. Yeah, this is definitely it. Stop it, you little shits. So these are the big ones that I need to avoid. Or try to, anyway. Who underscore? Who underscore? Those horrible octopus things. And now I just need to head down. Poo underscore? There we go, I can see the bonds were in the right area. So, now... For this area we turn on silent running. So we don't want to make too much noise for the other one in here to hear us. Yeah, Kelly's new horse is called Pooh. Or poo underscore. So if I stay on this side, there's one over that way somewhere that shouldn't see us. <laughs> yeah, Brina, it is affordable TTS. But even my sound alerts are free. Right, so which direction are we going for? I'm sure it's to the left to reach the tree base. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's this way. So we head in this direction. And it should be directly in front of us. Yep, 
There's the tree. Exactly where we need to be going. And we've made it with barely a scratch. Oh, well, that's what the shield looks like. That's cool. The fuck. Whatever it is, it was tiny. <laughs> Bart does it in protest. And here is our tiny, tiny base at the bottom. So we will park here. There we go. So let's go and have a look at tiny base. Which for some reason lost its legs. Like in between the other submarine breaking and building this base, this base legs disappeared. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we're running low on power. Um Did I bring any power gen stuff with me? Plenty of supplies. Yes, I did. I remembered to bring some poo. There we go. And I also built a water filtration machine here. Free salt and free water. So, what do we need to make? Right, we've got the little orange tablet, which is for something over that way because it's near the wreck. So, I think we'll go and investigate that first. <laughs> I think for the 24 hour stream Brina should play Hollow Knight that sounds like a great plan so I'll put the salt in here grab the orange tablet mhm <laughs> And then we shall do some exploring in the mech. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Prawn suit. So this has a drill arm on it. Which means I can actually drill these big pieces of ore. I need any. And it automatically picks them up when I do. But first... We're going to make our way to the alien base that's back this way. A new District 9 movie? <gasps> when? Where? 
Is there like a trailer or something for it? So it's, it's like one of those things of they just like announced it or are they still writing it or something? Where is the way up? What's that way? I'm going to need to try and Spider-Man this. There we go. Good thing about the drill as well. If one of those bastards comes after me, you can use it as a weapon. Like this. Yeah. Didn't like that, did you? this direction there should be an alien base for us to explore yeah it's where the cyclops is Vickers van der Ville who turns into an alien at the end of the first one though doesn't he so they reckon it's just going to be like a continuation of it what do you think you're doing to wait for my boost to recharge now. Oh, there's a ruby there. So yeah, this purple bar on the bottom right is like a, a jet booster. But it's only limited, so I've got to latch on with my suction cup and wait for it to recharge a bit before I can go further. But, there we go. And there you can see my old submarine. Which is now just a, like a wreck that you can explore. Although I took all of the stuff out of it. So there's nothing actually in there anymore. There might be a couple of scraps of metal on the floor. Yeah, like this. And that's it. But we are heading in this direction. We can go away. Oh yeah, you're here, aren't you? You will get drilled to the face as well if you need to. It's behind this waterfall. Because, unlike Dark Souls, Subnautica is a good game and has a secret behind the waterfall. Like you should. Ta-da! So, over here, we have Tunnel. This leads to
got him. So I think this is a portal of some sort. I just don't have any way of turning it on at the moment. I thought the orange thingy was to do it, but apparently not. So we have a bit more exploring to do. Green as a weeb. We can all see it. So where was the bit we used the we needed to use the orange one at then? Is it further over that way? Do a bit of repair first. This bit as well is filled with water. So like this is like a water barrier. So let's go left then, shall we? Because I know I've seen the place where I need to use this orange like tablet thing, I just can't remember where. <laughs> so this is where blood roots are. You want you have a drill as well? Go away. So we have blood roots this way. Let's just go around the edge and see what we can find. <gasps> Greener Chan! <gasps> An infected one. So yeah, we're starting to seeing more creatures infected with this thing as well now. Like green spots everywhere. <laughs> it's too late now, Breener Chan. It's official. Right, so it's not over this way. So it must be up. One of the other exits or something. Oops. I did not mean to tag that thing then. Oh well. Wonder if it'll work this time. <laughs> Let's go down here. Perfect landing. Right, I'll nip back to the base and get some food. And then we'll try one of the other exits to this area. In fact, I might grab the other tablet as well. Oi, Dave! I made it to the bottom without wrecking. So I now have my mech and my big submarine down here at the bottom. In fact, that's what I was going to look at. Making a nuclear reactor for this base instead. Oh, it's true. I made a second mech and a second submarine. And we're now all at the bottom. It's 
this suction cup thing is way faster for moving along as well. So I could do with building. Eh. What will I need for a nuclear reactor? Because this thing runs out of power really quickly. Um, builder, there. Nuclear reactor. We need three lead, a plasteel ingot. Do we have any plasteel? Uh, no, we don't. So, got one lead, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's the lithium, so that gets us a plasteel ingot. Which, oh yeah, unpowered. Stick some of this in it. You get stabbed. Why does it never wanna? Oh great, do I have more melon seeds in here? Yeah, I do, right. You go in there. Then Aaron Shan Yu Wu. <laughs> so that'll get us a plus dealing. Oh, we need more lead. These are all unpowered, yeah, they're all uncharged as well. Um How much is it to build a fabricator? I might build one on the titanium gold and a coral sample. I'm sure I've got all that cold. Weeps out. And red table coral, that's what I wanted. So we'll build a fabricator on here as well. Just until we get the power situation sorted. No. No, we're good for power on here. It's just the engine that's off. So build a fabricator. Go away, Katie Mosca. Why are you showing us unpowered? Do I need to turn silent running off or something? Why are you suddenly 0%? We have not been down here that long. Zero, zero, zero. Why is this all suddenly zero? Rubbish. Right. Brina is my favourite senpai. Brina is my favourite as well. He just doesn't like to admit it. So, what we're going to do... This thing uses a shit ton of power, so it's going for now. My plants will provide enough water and stuff if I need it. There. 
put the advanced components back in here. Along with the salt we need. Titanium. We need one more lithium. Do we have any lithium stashed in here? No more lithium. Let's go find some. Oh, there was some just out here, wasn't there? I'm Brina's favourite waifu, you woo kappa. No, I'm sorry, but that's Chambo. We all know it's actually Chambo. There we go, lithium. So you make me a plastic up. <laughs> Right, so, what else do we need for the nuclear reactor? Because this is going to be a rush job. Two more lead, and an advanced wiring kit. What do we need for advanced wiring kits? We need... Uh, standard wiring kits, two gold, and a computer chip. We have... Computer chip. We've got two gold. Do we have any silver for the advanced? Don't think we've got any silver for an advanced wiring kit. Indeed. No, no silver. So I need to find some silver as well. Plants gone. Three. And then. We'll make some proper plant pots to put the trees in. This one. Need more titanium. Treat. And then... Put one of those in there. So, what do we need? We need silver for an advanced wiring kit. And we need... Lead. Let's go find some silver and some lead. Let's go this way. Not been this way yet. You look like titanium. Yep. Finally! What are they doing? They're checking the wiring and stuff for it. So with the hub being down, literally down the street from you, I'd have thought your connection would have been better than the rest of ours. You look like lithium. Oh, they're thinking it's the bit just outside your house that's the problem. Right, what's well, down here? Boom! We've got more uranite. I don't need any of that. What are you? You lead? 
lithium. Oh, you're cute. Ooh. Is this a lava zone? It is. Nice. Right, let's go and have a look. I need some silver. Your titanium. Need some silver and some lead, please. Also, I might even find some... Ooh, warper. I might even find some of that calcified sulfur down here. Whatever it's called. Oh, crystallized stupid warper. Leave me alone. Or you can get drilled as well. We'll fight you. See? Teleport away, little bitch. Oop. Right, find me some lead and some silver. What are you? You look like copper. Yeah, you are. Uh, the warper's back. Still can't see any calcified sulfur. Or crystallized sulfur, I should say. Do you. You are. Lead! You are what I need. Need at least three. One. Two. Three. There we go. Find silver. Also do a bit of a repair as well. Find me some silver. Although I'm probably looking in the wrong place. Silver's like near. Lava is usually a bad place to find silver. Because it melts quite easily. Jump. But I'm hoping I can find some crystalline sulfur while I'm here. You're just a lava blob. What are you? You are lithium. <gasps> Gundam! Dave has redeemed a gun. That is crystalline sulfur. That is the thing that I need. Right. Heat shouldn't be a problem for me. Pop out, grab it. One crystalline sulfur. Because I've got like a fancy reinforced diving suit. So as long as I don't actually touch the lava, I should be good. I just need to remember where I left my mech. There. Gundam origami. That'll be a fun one. I could probably find some. I bet somebody's done some before. Right. 
find some more, more crystalline sulfur there. Is there any more around here? Any more for any more? Quartz. Are you stuck? I'm convinced I'm looking the wrong way for silver, but we'll carry on going just in case. Any more crystalline sulfur in here? Quartz. Yeah, there's a piece there. Just gotta be careful. You're a diamond. Oh, we've got one stuck in the prawn. Oh well. This way. You are titanium. No actual silver. I'm going to have to go and have a look in the other bit. Yeah, titanium. Yeah, it's like it's all titanium and copper. You can piss off. Dun 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 dun. Make it? Can I make it? Just. We'll just hang out here a few seconds. Wait for this to recharge. Ah, it missed. Booger. Right, what kind of deposits was the silver in? I'm going to have a look for those instead. Uh, uh, geological... Silver is in sandstone. Yeah, there's plenty of sandstone around here. So we'll have a look, see if we can't get any from this sandstone. Lead. Welcome aboard, Captain. More sandstone. Silver, just what we needed. Need one more piece of silver. Silver, sorted. So we have the stuff to make a nuclear reactor. Just need to check what else we need to make. The nuclear rods that go inside it. Beep. Welcome aboard, 
Captain. We're full up on power for the moment anyway, so. Nuclear reactor build. Get us a standard wiring kit. Now an advanced wiring kit. So if I wanted to build a nuclear reactor now... Oh yeah, need to get the lead out of the mech donor. Storage. There. So that's the bits for actually making... Right, what do we need to make that? We need one lead, one titanium, one glass and three uranites. some glass. Glass, glass. You are enameled glass. I need regular glass. Right, so I need to go and get some of that quartz as well. we'll grab these two. Oh, we should have a look to see if there's a big quartz deposit we can drill. There's bound to be. And grab some more uranite while we're at it. Because we've got enough for one there. Yeah, Dave wants some Gundam origami. So that'll be my next challenge. So we got. Oh, yeah, I have to put these in here, wanna? Three, four, five. I need one more to make another plutonium rod. And I need some quartz. Let's go looking for quartz then. It's bound to be a big quartz deposit somewhere. There's that one uranite I, re I needed. And there's a big deposit of it right there, that's perfect. See how this poor little thing is stuck? What is it? It is just stuck in the corner of our mech. A lava lava. <laughs> Bet somebody had fun coming up with that. Right then. So. We are looking for a quartz deposit. So we need a bunch of quartz to make glass. Lithium. Hi Greg! How goes? How far did you make it in Dark Souls? <laughs> One of my lovely mods want to do a shout out for Greg. So I know he's been doing a Killed Quellag. That must have taken you a while at soul level one. Uh, did you go and find yourself a fancy new weapon? Because you had the the battle axe last I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's all this gold everywhere and I don't need gold. See, so if you're going for the the typical soul level one thing. I know you missed out on the club because chat got you to kill the merchant. But there is in An Orlando an occult club. Like an enchanted one you can use. It won't scale as well, but occult damage does come. Well, I say scale doesn't matter because you're not leveling up. But the occult will come in handy against some of the bosses. Because some of the ones that are technically gods take extra damage from occult. This is what I needed. So you can still get a club if you want one. Yeah, it's a good, like the battle axe is a good starting weapon, but it's not something that'll take you through the rest of the game. There we go, now we have plenty of quartz. Head back to the base and make our nuclear reactor. Yeah, my run that I was doing, I'm doing that on New Game Plus now. Like, off stream. And things like the Black Knights and stuff like that still hit just as hard. Like, some of the bosses aren't too bad, but the Black Knights and stuff still wreck you. And I might start a soul level one run as well, just for the hell of it, to see what it's like. Right. Let's build some power rods and a nuclear reactor. And then this place will be sorted. Uh, uh, uh isn't it? So we need to make... I need to actually get the quartz out of my mech. I keep forgetting to do that. Reactor rods. Two of these. Um, and we can st should still have the stuff to make a nuclear reactor. Yeah, we do. So our bioreactor can go away. Time for nuclear power. And we'll stick a couple of power rods in it. Wow, 2,500. That's going to last us a while. Should put this back in here. I think we also need to build a moon pool down here. Um... What do we need to build a moon pool? Just so I can dock the mech in it and recharge it and stuff. Two lead, 
some lubricants, two titanium ingots. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we've got some lubricant. Um, pull all this out. Grab some food and then go looking for some more titanium. Oh yeah, I need to build a disposal thing as well for the power rods. Where's my nuclear bin? Um, not there. There. Trash can. Nuclear waste disposal. spent fuel rods when we're done with them. Bum, bum, bum. So you need kyanite crystals. I've still not found those. Yeah, this is my secondary base. Got a nuclear reactor, got food on the go, got a few supplies. I need to build a moon pool for recharging my stuff. So I need some more titanium and some more lead. Get in. Welcome aboard, Captain. So where was the lead? We found lead over here, didn't we? Got plenty of titanium. Now that we can drill for it. Found the lava area as well, which is the next place we need to go. So I had a look at the um, descriptions of where the alien bases were, and apparently one of them is near lava. Lots of drilling. We're on half power as well, but we should survive for a while. Should at least be able to make the moon pool. Right. Tell you what, we will withdraw you while I remember to still do it. Is that enough for? Titanium and got it's one. Need a little bit more for a second one. There you are. And I still need two lead as well. So, 
in we go. I'll remember where that lead deposit is eventually. You are lithium, are you not? There's plenty of that uranium around here though, so as long as we can get a hold of lead and more quartz we'll be rolling in power. Down here, more lithium, gold, Some nickel down here as well. Is it all just lithium? Give me some lead, please. So once I've got a constant south power source. I can recharge the mech and stuff. And then we can go for a look around the lava zone proper. Because I want to find the alien base that's in there, because I know there is one. I know there's another one up here as well somewhere, I've just not found it. That was going to be the next objective. Or I realised the base needed stuff doing to it. So you are more uranite or uranium or whatever they call it. Any lead? No, oh, nothing in here. Up we go. So this is the bit I usually can't get in because it's poisonous. We got around here. More gold. Your copper. More copper. Quartz. Your gold. Nothing useful yet. Silver. Silver is useful. There. Nicole. Next milestone is building a moon pool down here for recharging my mech and stuff. Once that's done we'll be advancing into the lava area to get what's in there because there is another alien base in the lava area I just need to get to it but I need the mech to be able to get to it. So we are looking for lead at the moment. What we've got here.
So I think that should be everything we needed. Let's have a look. Lead, titanium as well. Oh yeah, I picked up some titanium, didn't I? So let's head back to base. What are you? You're even more lead of cool. Oh, that's miles faster. As long as I aim it properly. Titanium, we shall take you. What's for dinner? It's for dinner, chicken. Moon pool. What am I missing for the moon pool? Oh yeah, it's all still in here. Nom nom nom. So we've got eight, nine, ten, and some lead. So yeah, here's our nuclear power generator. Got plenty of food. It is just the actual resources we need now. So we've got another titanium ingot. We can now build a moon pool. Just knock it up a notch so you can actually fit in it. And then I think we need to build a transfer to it. Eh. Do we need hull reinforcements? Shouldn't do. Titanium lithium. Oh, we do need hull reinforcements. Do they have any more lithium in here? Did not have a lead, silver, titanium. Right. More titanium. And I know there is a lithium deposit right behind me. Or oh, there was. Lithium, where are you? My base is flooding itself because it's too far down. Yeah, stop giving me that warning message. I know I need to reinforce my base. There you are. Oh, 
There we go, that should be plenty enough. Um, it does. Like, it can hurt your character and stuff, but... I've got a reinforced diving suit that also helps with temperature. So a heavy synthetic di fibre dive suit providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. So the temperature doesn't bother me anymore. Um, it can still damage my vehicles if it gets too hot. But the reason I was looking for that sulphur earlier was because you can build something with the sulfur to um, you can build something with the sulfur to like help protect against the heat so I need to get lithium out and I need to start reinforcing so we'll have one reinforcement here Another reinforcement here. Uh, need another piece of titanium. Any titanium left? Not in there. Have I got any? Parts I can break down. No. I think I just need to fix the holes now. But I will do some more reinforcing. <laughs> Training systems initiated. There we go. Where was the other holes? There. Hull integrity restored. Training systems initiated. Ugh. I almost messed that up horribly. So, do, are you getting power from the nuclear in here? Yes, you are. You're close enough. So, this should start recharging now. Yeah, it's charging. Um, no. This one, the moon pole is a bit special. It's got, like, remote tr power transfer. So it's got like, you can build these power transmitters out of gold and titanium. Which will transfer power over a short distance. The moon pool comes with one free, so I don't need to connect it or anything. Uh, what I do need to build though is the modification station. So copper wire, computer chip, three titanium. Yeah, if it was any other module, I would have to connect it up for it to work properly. So I need to actually make a computer chip. We've got copper wire already. Got a wiring kit. Got copper wire. What do I need for a computer chip? Copper wire, gold, two table corals. I need to find some more copper as well. Food. Good shout, actually. <laughs> uh, we got two table coral in here. Computer chip. Feed me character. Is 
There we go. So, to build you, I need some more copper and some titanium. Yep. We'll finish that reinforcement as well. So there should be a titanium deposit over here somewhere that I'd mostly drilled out. And then I just need to find some copper. There you go, this thing's back up to 100 charge now. Does that dead quickly. Oh, the base got its legs back. So there was a bunch of copper down this way. Bum, 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 bum. There's more titanium there as well. Let's look for that copper deposit first. Your uranium. More uranium, more uranium. More titanium down the next drop. We got some more lithium. More uranium. It's like we're going into the lava bit again. It's bound to be some copper down here. We we got. We'll get some of this titanium, and that's a copper just in front of us. It looks like. We we. This drill is awesome. Just get loads of resources really quickly. Ah oh, well, I will put it in my storage then. Now, it only took us a couple of minutes and we have all these materials. Let's grab some of this copper. Welcome aboard, Captain. Copper. So I'm just going to drill out this entire deposit in case we need it for stuff. That all of it? Yeah. 14 copper from that one deposit. Well worth it.
Squee. Spider Man way across the spit. station. Which building you? We need a copper wire, so I need a couple of copper. in a bit. Probably. Yeah, it'd be handy if it like, instead of just saying captain or something, <laughs> to welcome our Hansen. That'd be cool. Right. Build. Modification station. Now. In the upgrade console, what we had jump jet upgrade. <laughs> I've got lithium, I need five titanium, three crystalline sulfur, two nickel ore. Gonna grab the rest of the stuff out of the storage in this actually. Titanium as well. Um, what was the other upgrade that we could do that was related to heat somehow? Thermal reactor. We need that crystal that I don't know what it is. We've not seen any of those kyanite crystals anywhere. Oh, if I can get some nickel, if I can get the jump jet upgrade. So, let's go find some nickel. No worries. I'm sure we saw some nickel up top, didn't we? if there's anything in this little pool because this is where we saw the quartz and I didn't actually look in it. Nah, there's nothing here. So we'll go up here and look for some nickel and some more titanium. So, 
your gold? Yeah. Yeah, you can roar all you like. I know you can't come in this bit. Silver. Where is the nickel? You more silver? Silver. Nickel ore. That's what we needed. Plenty of nickel for now. Just need some more titanium now. Stop whinging. Copper. Any titanium hiding down here? Nah, no titanium that I can see. This is where the wrecked alien base is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we've already been in that one. Let's do a little launch. Lead. <laughs> yeah, it was one we went to earlier where they were doing research on the disease and they decided to take the egg of something called the sea dragon. So one of them turned up and wrecked it and then died shortly afterwards. So that's what I'm assuming this skeleton is here. I'm assuming this is a sea dragon. But yeah, they took one of its eggs, pissed it off so it turned up and wrecked the place. Right, just need a bit more titanium now. There's none. Or lead. None around here, so I'll go to that bit just past the base because I know there's some there. But yeah, it's handy that there's a ton of lead and titanium down here because it means it's dead easy for me to make nuclear power rods. So I'm never going to run out of power down here. Boop, 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 Can, but I've built my bases out of the way of creatures or creatures big enough to attack them anyway uh, so you need two nickel, five titanium, three sulfur and a lithium yeah if you build it in like the more dangerous areas they can come after your base
I've just built mine far enough away that they don't come after it. So I need at least three nickel and three of the sulfur thing. And I needed. Either lead or lithium, I can't remember which. And now I just need to find some titanium. And then we will go and explore the lava zone. Welcome aboard, Captain. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, five titanium I need. And I know there's some just over here. There. Give me all of your titanium. of titanium. Hi Manu. I am about to build the upgrade that I needed. Then we can go and explore the lava zone and see what's actually down there. So open up storage, get the titanium out build the upgrade which is jump jet upgrade there we go so we've got one spot left for the heat charging thing when we find some of those crystals Doing pretty well. I've got this base down here properly established now. I've got like nuclear power and everything. And I've got my food supply sorted as well. So food sorted. Upgrades are sorted. Let's save. And then let's go to have a look at the lava zone see what's in there there's no doubt there's going to be another giant monster in there I'm expecting it to be the sea dragon seeing as we've not seen any yet and lava is a good a place as any to see a see a dragon Oh, there's more titanium there. Cool. Oh, that jump jet upgrade's pretty powerful as well. Like, literally just needs a touch. Oop. Right, let's head this way. Sorry. 
Is this just a vent? Yeah, it is. I see a blue crystal. I see more blue crystals. You are exactly what I need. This looks like the stuff. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Grab some of these. Oh, so it is actually giving me some. this last bit. I want a bunch of these crystals, they look useful. How many did we actually get from that then? Because most of it just seems to disappear. Three. They're being stingy with them. of it. Hi Sherry. deepest bit I've been to. So I found some of those blue crystals I was after. This is where all the silver I was looking for is as well. Hey look a fire ray. So I gotta remember that like southwest is the exit. There's a warper that means there's an alien base nearby. Sure old! You're coming after me aren't you? Dick, get away. I'll fight you. Dead. See that's what you get. Titanium.
Let's head vaguely in the direction of the warper. That's usually where the alien stuff is. Is there anything here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just a cavern wall. Is this another way out? Or have I just gone round in a circle and confused myself? I have, I've just come round in a circle. Dun, 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 dun. I just fell on a fish. So it's head. Just head straight from here. See, I don't know what I need to be looking for. I know there's an alien base hidden here. Just don't know where. And I can't see any of their like usual stuff other than the warpers nearby. Hey, look, it's a skull. Watch out, they're gonna probe you. No, I don't want to. I don't want to be probed. So that's one of the reapers, the big angry eels. It's around here. <laughs> Fuck is that? Could it? I think that's the sea dragon, you know. No, you can stay over there. I don't want anything to do with you. <gasps> Base! Base entrance is where we need to go. Look at it though, it's giant. Like that's at the edge of the draw distance. Has he spotted us? Is he looking at us? He is. Look at the size of him. No wonder he tore that other bar that other base to pieces. He just tore it apart. Fuck. It's actually a dragon, it breathes fire. I need to get out and repair my mech that destroyed it then. Almost destroyed my mech. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, right, what's this? You an egg. You are an egg, we will take you with us. 
And I can hear it outside being angry. Got more crystal. There's gotta be an alien base in here somewhere. Egg. Yes, we have found egg. Like, I saw the entrance to an alien base, so there's got to be one here. Ah, I see it. This way. Right, where's the entrance? I can just hear that dragon outside being angry. So warper down there. Aha, entrance. And we're in. Hello, alien base. Oh, let me guess. You need a thingy that I've not got. Yeah, I've not got a purple tablet with me. Bugger. But there's something important in there as well. Is that a sea dragon? See me drag Pundi's nuts across Brina's <laughs> face. Poor Brina. So I will take the ion cube. Oh, Captain. So it says these are an alien energy source, but I've not found anywhere to actually use them yet. And I've got loads of them. What are you? Oh, you're another one of these portals. <gasps> it works. Give me all them cubes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Tell you what. Give me all of this. Portal. Please be a portal. You are. Right. Where does this portal go? Now I'm going to explore the rest of this first. Just in case the portal fucks me over. That sounded like a machine. Where's it coming from? This way. A little robot. Hello. Hello. Ow. Little shit. Come here. There. Little cunt. So this is another entrance. So it's this bit. I need to come back with one of these purple tablets. And then down here we have another place where I need a purple tablet. There you are. Piss right off. So yeah, we all, we need two purple tablets. But I think we can build them. This is a download. Integrate new PDA data. So 
Where's that PDA data? That's the little thing I scanned earlier. Yeah. Right, let's have a look, see what's through this portal. I want to see where it takes me. And we are... So I'm still turning. And see the thingy spinning at the top. Where are we? Is this? We're at the gun platform. This is where the gun platform is. So I know where this goes, this is an easy way back up to the surface. So I need to come back with two of those purple whatchamacallits. But it is quite late. So I'm going to go back to the base, grab them, and then we shall come back here next time. Because I've got some of these fancy crystals as well, so I can make even more upgrades. Right, which way was the way out? over this way. So time to make my way back to base. We shall make the upgrade that uses these crystals. And then I shall finish for the night. Dun, 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 dun. All right, which way? This way. Need to go up. Head towards those. And I also need to run from the sea dragon. Doesn't seem to be. It's over there. Right, let's just lag it, see if I can get out of his sight range or something. Run! Is he still following us? Doesn't like it. So we'll go this way. Where's the exit gun? Is it here? Yeah, this looks like it. Back to base we go. Sea dragon's buggered off back that way. I don't think he saw us. So we are good for now.
Well, you can make it this way. Almost there. And we are back to base, safe and sound. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right. Did I leave anything in the storage? No, I didn't. So. What was the upgrade I was looking at that needed the crystal? Uh, da, da, da. Thermal reactor, I need a wiring kit and polyaniline. Sure, I've got a wiring kit. It's just the other thing I'm not sure I've got. We got shit tons of those power things now. Um, so wiring kit we have there. How do we make the poly thingy? Hydrochloric acid and gold, three deep shrooms and a salt deposit. I know we've got deep shrooms. New deep shroom, yeah, one. Need two more deep shrooms. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, no. Signs stabilizing. There, right, so it was three deep shrooms and salt deposit. of gold as well. And then hydrochloric acid and a piece of gold. I picked up copper. There, gold. That gets us the polyaniline. This will get us the last upgrade that I wanted. the wrong thing. Oh well. So got you for the sea moth.
three of the deep shrooms. One, two, three. Polyaniline, that's what we needed. And now to make... Oh, we needed two polyaniline. Ah oh, well, we shall make it next time. So... with us having found some fancy new resources and where the alien base is I will continue this next time <laughs> so I need to build another one of those purple tablets I think I can build can't I? no Done. Purple tablet, one ion cube and two diamonds. Right, I'll make one now before I forget. Otherwise I'll think I just need the one. Two diamond. There we go, so I've got the two purple tablets that I need next time. I need to make the upgrade still. How are we doing for power in this? Yeah, you're all good. So, save the game. I wish I'll finish there for tonight. So, I don't think I'll be streaming again until we do the 24 hour thing on Saturday. So, I shall see you all there. Um. I think Alex is starting at round about 10 with some Mario Kart first and then after Mario Kart we've got Arox doing Demon Souls for the first time out of any of us after Arox at 6am I will be taking over and doing Bayonetta for the first time. After me will be Brina, who is probably doing flight sim, even though he says he doesn't know what he's doing yet. He's probably going to be doing flight sim. And then we shall have Manu doing some bird hunting in Pokemon to finish up until the midnight on Saturday. So I will see you all there. In the meantime, let's find somebody to raid, shall we? Has anybody got any suggestions? Otherwise I will just have a look and see who's online. Bum, 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 bum. Oh look, Julie is playing L.A. Noir. That is a great game. So I'll go and say hello to Julie. So... I will see you all on Saturday. Come and watch. Help us raise money for a worthy charity in the Netherlands. And have fun watching L.A. Noir. It's a great game. And I shall see you all soon. Bye, everybody.